<laughs> Bob always starts a gag and then the red light goes on and no, then we... No, he goes to tell us about... Don't speak with your mouth, though. Come back in a minute. Are you eating his protein bar yeah, incidentally? I am. Sorry I'm about that. Like. The Talk Sport Clips of the Week. Yes, there's a few uh, key moments from the uh, week's output on Talks oh, yes. Clips of the Week. And as I think traditional, really, we start with Alan Brazil mm. with an athletics question. Alex, has anyone ran a world, a world, a world <laughs> uh, no, has anyone ran a marathon in under two minutes? <laughs> Seems unlikely it's ever going to be done, okay. even in those uh, shoes that Kipchoge wore, I would think. <laughs> or in Mike Parry world. Yeah, Mike Parry world, that's true. This is Andy Goldstein and Darren Goff now discussing football songs. Is that the best England song, World Emotional? Is it better than It's Coming Home? Um, yeah. Well, what was the Vindaloo one? can't remember what that was, what was called. It called. Was it, it? Uh, was it Vindaloo? <laughs> I think it might, I think have, been, it might yeah. have been, yeah. Uh, Danny Kelly now taking a call. Next up to talk to us on 08717-22344. Chelsea fan Calvin. Hello, Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, I like he dresses the whole club, <laughs> Danny. Does doesn't, it. Not, not the one man. <laughs> and here's Sean Derry now with Hugh Woosencroft. You look at the championship now. How many of the championship clubs have recently been in the Premier League? I mean, it's mm. <laughs> what a challenge to get out of that league. Uh, we'll have to leave the chat on Anna Linux. Hannah Lennox, I liked her in the Eurythmics. She was good in the Eurythmics, yes, she was, she was very good. Maybe I really Hugh knows Eurythmics. her. <laughs> Eurythmics. Uh, anyway, back to Big Alan uh, discussing Ali McCoy's route home. Where are you flying from today, Alan? Heathrow. Uh, Why did you do that? Why not City? Um, because of an, an earlier flight, flight from Heathrow and that Extension Rebellion flight, mob. Flight, you scared the flying? That's, <laughs> that Extension <laughs> Rebellion mob have got me. <laughs> the Extension Rebellion, they've glued themselves to uh, <laughs> Ali's dormer. Yeah. That's gone in there. Protest he's, against Annex. They're going to uh, <laughs> climb on top of his lean to. <laughs> Extension <laughs> Rebellion, they just, you've got to watch out for them. They don't like it. If, they play, if, if you haven't got planning permission, they really <laughs> kick off. You know, can, you do. have permission for three metres, you've gone out four metres. They're all over you like a rash. They are. Yeah. Staying with Alan, this is what happened at 6.45 on Tuesday morning. Uh, not an easy place to go these days, Switzerland. It was a defeat for Ireland in Switzerland last night, despite that result. Uh, Mick McCarthy's side remained top of the group. Um, top. Of the, sorry about that. I can't believe that. Very telling, that isn't it? Yeah. Six forty-five. That was when Alan was planning to get up, <laughs> wasn't it? Get up six forty-five, in for seven. Or hang on, I start work at six. No way. Yeah. Good old Al. Good old Al. What's next? Fisherman's Blues. Yeah, isn't Fisherman's it? Blues. And Nigel may be off, but Keith Arthur was determined to maintain the hardcore fishing agenda. Yeah, he was. On digital radio, online, and via the Talksport app. Fisherman's Blues with Nigel Bobaway on Talksport Two. <laughs> I'm a big fan of trees. Fair enough. <laughs> well, who isn't? Yeah. I'm sure the fishing will start soon. <laughs> Later on, actually, Keith uh, previewed an upcoming guest. Trev Harrop's coming on at half past six. We'll have a good chat with him about the, the present, uh, the past, and the future. Which probably would cover, I mean, unless he lived in a parallel universe, <laughs> yeah. for sure, that probably will cover everything. Wouldn't it? everything. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. This is Jim Whitener getting very excited about headed goals. We're talking about headed goals. What's your favourite headed goals? <laughs> Very excited goal. about headed goals. <laughs> and here's Ray Parler and his ongoing struggle. And he's done this so many this times This is one now. of the worst examples of this. Yeah, thing. with the word fight. It was one of those situations thinking, that's it, a leader, telling him players what to do. Oh, look, he went a little bit over the top on the pitch. You don't want your players to have a fight on the pitch. <laughs> it's done it so many what times, right? I don't, I don't know. know. It's just, they ever brought back TV Burp and they gave it to Ray instead <laughs> yeah. of Harry Hill. I mean, it could be very embarrassing before the commercial break, couldn't <laughs> it? Could it? Yeah. It's only one way to find out. <laughs> exactly. Um, and we're uh, calling this one, Andy. Don't drag him into it as well, Saggers. If you follow your athletics, you will know that uh, Mo Salah moved to Portland, Oregon in 2011 to work with new coach Alberta Salazar. Don't drag him into it as well. <laughs> Do you mean Alberto Farazar? <laughs> I think it could be. Now, this is Alan again with a surprise revelation about an England debutante. We'll talk to Michael Dawson, his old PE teacher, um, Tanner Mings. 
Who knew? <laughs> Michael <laughs> Dawson. Strange, uh, really. Michael Dawson's probably got about <laughs> what, 10, 12 years on, which meant Tyro Mings, his PE teacher, was about nine years old, probably younger than that. He was quite strict, though. Even Come on, Dawson, get changed. I know you borrow a pair of shorts. You're doing cross country. It'd be great. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mings. I know. And we did wonder what Jim White was alluding to here. I love it when it gets heavy like that, Natalie. <laughs> yeah, well, probably, <laughs> probably was the music, but it did sound a bit creepy. And uh, we do love a big production number on TalkSport, but it doesn't always work out as we hoped. Mm. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, live on TalkSport on Drive Radio without a safety net. Curtis from Bournemouth's top five finishers of all time at number five. Curtis, my friend, the floor is yours. Curtis, number five. Number five. Curtis. Oh, hi, yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Big builder. Curtis wasn't on side there, yeah, was he? Poor old Curtis. Really? He didn't get the idea of Hello. Q. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, this is uh, Russ Hargreaves now discussing the now former, as we've just yes. discovered, uh, Bulgaria manager uh, Balakov. And uh, Balakov, it was always, someone was going to do it, weren't they? That's right. The Bulgarian manager has released a statement after criticism of him post-match, claiming not to have heard the abuse. He also says he doesn't believe the country has a problem with racism. So this is what Krasimir Bolokhov's Facebook page has said. Yeah, he was always going to get yeah, no one they that. wanted to drop him. Yeah, that's true, which they have now done. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, one more from Alan, Andy? Yes, why not? And he's obviously kept a close eye on the news over the last three years. Good morning, four minutes past nine. By the way, breaking news, Michael Barney says it'll be difficult, but it's still possible this week for a Brexit deal. Michael oh, Barney? I thought you meant Michael Van Barneveld. <laughs> I thought it was sort of darts. Like he's brother. Michel Barnier, doesn't he? He's, he's, he's not had that many name checks in the last three years. <laughs> no, who is That's true, it's easy done. And finally, on Fisherman's Blues, Keith Arthur's guest talks us through his recent catch. Mm. And it did remind us of something with Christmas fast approaching. Mm. £20, six ounce bottle. 18 pound 7 ounce bream, 7 pound 13 ounce chub, 4 pound 1 ounce crucian, 50 pound common carp, 11 pound 5 ounce tench, 4 pound 1 ounce rod, 5 pound 1 ounce perch, 3 pound 6 ounce roach. Adam. And a poached fish in a pear tree. Beautifully sung, Andy. Thank you. Beautifully done. So there we are. There was the clips. <laughs> you were all supposed to join in. Where was Curtis from Bournemouth? <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are, there's the Clips of the Week. Thank you to Nick Wells, Roger from Durham, Dave C, Jurgen Mitchell, The Juice, John McMahon, Alan Jenkins, Danny Stiles, Stephen's Elbow, Dicko, Paul Forrestal, Delavine the Plumber, Will Jasper, <laughs> Stella Jasper, Wagatha Christ eBay. <laughs> what? What? Uh, Anna Longvar, Colonel Nutkins. <laughs> Colonel Nutkins. <laughs> Colonel Can Nutkins. you read the Kentucky Fried Squirrel? Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Harris Tweed and Sharon Mosel. Mosel. <laughs> well, fair enough. So, right, well, let's finish with this, Martin. I'll put you bang on the spot with it. Ozil's saying this. You're working this for Ozil, Jim. This